Shalom alochon, my and dishes friends. Today I'll be organizing my pantry and spice drawer. So let's start organizing. I ordered 15 12 ounce 350 ml glass airtight bamboo jars from Amazon because I wanted all of them to look the same and to all look nice. And this is how my spice drawer looks like at the moment. Yes, it's a total mess. I have these little glass jars that I fill up with bulk bags of spices and I have little Tupperwares. <laughs> so yeah, I needed a big change. I washed all the jars and placed all the spices on the counter. I made some spice labels from Avery templates on the computer. I have these bulk spice bags. Um, I prefer them because they're cheaper than getting the jars. These are like two to three dollars and the jars are about seven to eight dollars. I also have containers of bulk spices which I get from the Middle Eastern supermarkets. I got the wide lid jars because they're easier to fill. Plus we Assyrians normally use tablespoons to add spices in our dishes. The smaller jars you can't even fit a teaspoon. You can also use a funnel to fill the jars. Pop on the lid and place a label of the spice so you don't forget. Look how amazing my spice drawer looks now. I put all the spices that I normally use at the front, then the second row I've got the herbs and chilies. At the back I just put the little jars of uh, spices and herbs that I hardly use, and I've got numi basra and bay leaves. But yes, yeah, salt, baharat is at the front, and black pepper, citric acid, curry powder. But look how colorful and beautiful they look like now. All aesthetically clean and beautiful. From this mess to this amazing spice drawer. In regards to the pantry, I went on a shopping spree with OXO Good Group's pop containers from Bed Bath & Beyond. I bought different sizes of shapes of containers for different pantry items. This is how my pantry looked like, how unorganized it was. I made the labels again from the Avery template. I organized the nut section. That included walnuts, cashews, peanuts and almonds. We Assyrians love snacking on nuts. I normally buy the nuts in bulk at Costco or the Middle Eastern supermarkets. That's why I got the big containers and they keep them fresh. I also put the lentils, bulgur and barley in smaller containers. I got this divided cabinet turntable from Bed Bath & Beyond to organize the snacks for the kids and granola or muesli bars and breakfast bars. So I placed all the lentils, gurgur, semolina, barley at the top of the pantry. Then the nut section and goldfish snacks are all on the second row. Here I also got the cereal containers from OXO and they are so easy to use. I have the chip basket and snacks turntable at child height. Then I placed the square containers for the flour, sugar, icing sugar and pancake mix. And at the bottom of the pantry, I have the oils, vinegars, coffee, bulk popcorn and drinks. And this is my other little pantry drawer section that I store my baking items on the top drawer. I have my sesame seeds, cardamom, ground pistachios, baking powder, baking soda, choc chips, yeast, cinnamon and muffin liners. And I've got brown sugar and coconut. So they're all easy accessible to me if I need to start baking. In the second drawer I have my cans like paste, tomato paste and sauces and fava beans 
and I've got the breakfast section like the jams and date syrup, Nutella, peanut butter. And in my last drawer, I have my rice, noodles, pastas, and soups. Thanks for watching, everyone. All the links are below. Happy organizing!